at Plum and Patch and Farm. This is a winter kill cover crop. And what we have in here is pearl millet. You see the lighter blades on that? And that helps clean up disease. It looks like it's getting some disease. Uh, it helps get some organic matter as well. I don't know that we'll use it next year because I, I like the look of these oats much better. Um, the oats, you, they build more aggressive root systems and you can see these oat roots are really getting coated with a lot of life and they're wrapping around old corn stubble and soy stubble and um, starting to break it down and I'm really just happy seeing such good roots. Now we also have tillage radish in here uh, which help mine nutrients up and loosen the soil a bit. Uh, and we also have the peas, summer peas to fix nitrogen. I don't know if we have any root nodule yet, but we can check. I probably pulled them off. I'm seeing a couple mini nodules there, nothing too exciting yet. Um, but what we did here, so we're gonna have to look really close, is we drilled hard red winter wheat into this cover crop because this cover crop will winter kill. The, the cold weather will kill all this cover crop off, except if you look in between the rows, this is all winter wheat. And we planted it at a diagonal to these rows so that we, the cedar wouldn't take too many bumps, but also so that we had as little, period, as little uh, space in crossing the row and long diagonals of grain. You can see this row continuing, this wheat row continuing like this. And it just intersects here and then you have a long run in this open gap of soil. And we just wanted to get the wheat seeds into as much open soil as we could. You can see here's the next row. So we're, we're hoping that this is a new way to grow um, no-till wheat. We've, we had to till after the previous crop because it was weedy to put our cover crop in. But now what we're hoping to do is to be able to get this wheat to, um, to grow in evenly. So that's, that's a really important part of, of what we're doing is try, trying to find ways to minimize our tillage. When these cover crops die, they'll provide a lot of carbon and also thatch to hold down weeds. And if we get another good couple of weeks of weather, the peas themselves and this chickling vetch, this is chickling vetch and this is a pea, should start fixing some nitrogen if they already haven't. And I'm not seeing much nitrogen fixing happening on that root yet. We want to see root nodules and we're not quite seeing any yet. Um, the nodules indicate the fixation. The nodules indicate the fixation of nitrogen. And I'm not seeing any. Usually you'd see a bumpy, bumpy nodule on there and you'd see sort of a reddish reddish bump on the nodule if you're getting any any nitrogen. Let's see if we have some on this one. The roots are nice and deep. The oats are the oat roots are really really thriving. So this is the the pea root and I'm not yet seeing any nodulation. They're probably about a week away. This is still a little small. Um, but again, you can see the wheat coming in. We were worried about it at first, but plants like that, I mean, it's still germinating. So we're, we're seeing more and more wheat coming on. Um, it may be a little thin, but then again, here's one, here's one, there's a bunch there. So I think we may be okay. Uh, we were a little worried about how thin this wheat was. On the other side of the farm where we had oats, the wheat came in a little thicker, but I'm beginning to, to 